What is going on lads and welcome back to the channel. So we're back with a different sort of video today. This has been highly requested. A lot of people asking me how to train up your goalkeeper, how to have the best goalkeeper between the sticks that, you know, some of you guys are struggling. And yeah, look, a lot of random stuff can happen where your goalkeepers run around like headless chickens sometimes. But for the most part, there's a lot of tips and tricks in this that we will be going through in detail. So yeah, this kind of goalkeeper tutorial is just about turning your goalkeeper into an actual beast. So the best stats to upgrade, you know, what stats really matter, training tips, how to counter your opponent's strong goalkeeper and how to score easier goals, and then recommended goalkeepers. So when we go over to the actual player information in the game and we go and have a look at what the stats are, we've got goalkeeper awareness, which indicates how quickly the player can respond to the ball when playing in goal. We've got goalkeeper catching, indicates the player ability to catch the ball. Parian indicates the goalkeeper's ability to knock the ball away to safe areas. Reflexes indicates the goalkeeper's ability to block close range shots. And then reach is uh, how you know much goalkeepers cover the goals and the size of the area in which they can cover to make saves. So for here, right, I genuinely think from practicing and testing out a lot of different stuff and from talking to a lot of different people, I think that the two most important ones are parrying and reflexes. But reflexes, in my opinion, is the most important one when you are training up your goalkeeper. So if we go over to the standard player list here and we stay away from the legend goalkeepers, obviously if you've got Oliver Kahn, he is an absolute unit. But if we go over here to the players list and we're going to go in and just take a look at maybe two to three players and then we're going to go over to eFootball DB and show you guys what we mean when we train them up to kind of have the best goalkeeper and the best bang for your buck. So the first keeper that we're going to be looking at is Sommer who is the Switzerland goalkeeper the Swiss keeper between the sticks he's a really really good player not the tallest goalkeeper and this is another thing people have asked me about height versus speed I mean, like the height of a goalkeeper, yeah, once they're once they're fairly uh, able to kind of move around the pitch um, or move around their six yard box, obviously Oblak isn't the best keeper in the game, even though he's the most expensive, but he is an absolute beast as well when you train him up. Um, and then we've got obviously Mendy, who seems to be a lot of people's favorites, but there's so many goalkeepers, lads. There's that guy, Ariola, there's uh, Mike Magnan, who plays for um, AC Milan. And of course, my personal goalkeeper and my favorite goalkeeper, Donnarumma, who I think is just a colossus in the goals and he does make a, like a lot of saves that we're going to see in the clips here but if we go on over to eFootballDB and we just sort very easily in the actual player database and we just search for goalkeepers and we search for those two um, stats even though we're going to start with awareness and we're going to go with reflexes the most important one that I think we're going to look at is reflexes having a strong keeper with as high as you possibly can with his reflexes when we go over here to summer we're going to train him up obviously he starts off at an 81 overall uh, rated goalkeeper but he's got 40 progression points you can throw him into whatever play style you want and then we're obviously going to focus on the five goalkeeper stats now the awareness like look lads right i'm going to show you towards the end of the video right it doesn't matter sometimes if you've got somebody that's good in front of goal right and is able to cut the angles and through a combination of different um ways of scoring whether it's like you know dummies inside in the box fake shot dummies inside the box and then kind of like take the goalkeeper out of his animation or else you just put it in the corner there's nothing really you can do but when we train up a keeper like this i get a lot of questions about whether you should focus on catching and clearing or else reflexes and awareness and parrying and to be honest with you your goalkeepers are going to make mistakes there's no doubt in my mind that the goalkeepers are going to make mistakes and so it is important to understand that that like you know all these tips and tricks are just going to make you more um more kind of tight at the back and have somebody between the sticks that's going to not let you down as much more consistent when you're defending and when you bring in manual goalkeeper and, and stuff like that which i might do a dedicated tutorial on that but for the stats here, we're just playing around and we're trying to get our players up or our goalkeepers up. You want to have, in my opinion, you want to have at least uh, 90 goalkeeper reflexes. So if your goalkeeper can't get up to that, I mean, you definitely need to have a look at, see, if you are struggling with conceding a lot of goals, you need to check your reflexes of the keeper and see what he actually is rated at. Because you can see all of the keepers that I'm looking at here are 90 plus, usually 91. Uh, Mendy, Donnarumma, any of these guys. And I will show you the importance of reflexes and parrying in these clips here. You're going to see some goals here that are just completely saved. You'll see a lot of an assortment 
movement and a variety of uh, of chances and saves. Look at this one from Donnarumma. He's back up. He's strong. Oliver Kahn at the near post. Again, like these look like simple saves. This is a stunning shot. I mean, Oliver Kahn is obviously one of the best in the game. Again, Donnarumma makes a beautiful save. He's back up. He's uh, controlling the box. He's back up, making himself big, making himself as big a target as possible. And that's genuinely, that's really what you want from your goalkeeper. You want him to make as big a target of his body as possible. Look at that for reflexes there. And again, that is Donnarumma. Now, I do have Donnarumma. A lot of people have been asking me what keeper I use. A lot of people will know that from watching Dream Team Chronicles, you can see his stats there, 91 reflexes, 86 reach. And again, you can just see all these saves here coming in. Like we're at point blank range. This one obviously hits the crossbar, but Oliver Kahn is back up. Now, obviously Oliver Kahn is a legend keeper. He's probably the best keeper in the game, but he's making himself big. Obviously, uh, you know, that's what you want from your keeper. And you want, even if the shot is going to go past the keeper or you're going to put it into a dangerous area, that you can you can obviously have a chance to to make something or have some bit of connection with the with the goals because as I said lads you are going to concede goals I mean there's no tutorial out there that's going to be saying to you this is going to make you save like ninety percent of your shots or ninety nine percent of your shots because I'll show you how to score against these kind of goalkeepers no matter what right if you're able to be good in front of goal again this is what we're talking about making your uh, goalkeeper. Uh, as big as possible as you can and then obviously having it in an area where if they do parry the ball out that you are going to get a chance to intercept that with your defenders so we talked about uh, you know making your defender and making your uh, goalkeepers as you know strong as possible so that you can't beat them but I think that there's a couple of tips in here right obviously you're going to have wonder goals like this that go into the top corner that you're not going to be able to stop but I think if you're aiming to kind of improve yourself in front of goal finesse shots into the corner or low shots into the corner obviously we've a beautiful one there from Romario that only Romario can do and then we've also got chips right so chips the keeper kind of like stutter in their animation sometimes when you can chip the ball up um, now obviously they have looked at this from v1.1.1 so a couple of these clips are from before that but it still works I mean if you can bring the ball in close enough to the keeper and the player doesn't go to manual goalkeeping which a lot of people don't you can just literally slot the ball into each corner now obviously you can mix it up with some stunning shots and stuff but I think genuinely, I think the biggest thing is to kind of put it in the corner unless you are able to manual goalkeeper like this and psych out your opponent, which we will do a, a separate tutorial on. Let me know in the comments below. So let's just in the background here, you're seeing some of the goalkeepers that I recommend um, for all different budgets. I will leave the link to that video in the description below where I go into a lot more detail with it. And as I said, lads, if you guys want a more advanced kind of like gameplay on the pitch, a goalkeeper tutorial or a part two to this where we go in and we look at manual goalkeeping or manual positioning of the goalkeeper um we can do that as well it's no problem but yeah there is a couple of goalkeepers that i obviously recommend based on their you know their budget and their mix between budget and their mix between um you know their 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 uh their potential that you can train them up to but I genuinely think if you can spring it for Donnarumma, I definitely think he's one of the best in the business. And uh, if you if you you can afford that, I think Mendy is obviously one. If you've got a massive budget, Oblak is probably not worth it. But again, let me know if you guys have used Oblak. He's just somebody that I haven't really massively used. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. As I said, if you want a part two to this video, I did go through this quite quickly, but I get a lot of comments asking what stats to upgrade. So hopefully that sums up everything. If you want a dedicated on the pitch gameplay, you know, as I said, positioning the goalkeeper and all that, let me know as well. And we can get right on that. I have some good clips for that that we can analyze. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will be back quite soon. Peace.